All right. Let's see what we got. Yo, uh, gamer. Welcome to the Super Chambo world. Gamer. <coughs> Your son is obsessed with bananas, uh, and he eats them so damn fast. Okay, so am I going to be playing as Chambo on the overworld? Oh, game sound. Thank you. Welcome to Super Chambo World. Start and exit at a level at any time. Game saves automatically on the overworld. Switch Palace counts as exits. Uh, L and R to re-enter castles and palaces. Final Castle doesn't count as an exit. Ahead, you will find the different blocks featured throughout the game. All right. I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yo, what's up, Phil Bowden? Yeah, does all exits include skipping the final castle because it's not an exit? Right, let's see what we got. Uh, okay. Goomba Village Remix. <laughs> Can you not do that, please? Invictus intro. That looks tight. You can't beat Learn to Kaizo. Am I stupid? Let me guess. Are you stuck on uh, test three? Or test two? Test one? Oh, then yeah, you, you're just bad. Okay, re-grab right there. <coughs> you got stuck on the spring midder. Ah. Yeah, learn to Kaizo is uh surprisingly <coughs> tricky. It's surprisingly tricky. you didn't start with Grand Poo World. You're stuck on the stupid flower. Oh, you're stuck on the uh, the lotus. Yeah, you gotta regrab. You gotta regrab. Yeah, a regrab. Look at my controller display. This is a regrab. You let go midair, and then you re-grab, and it basically allows you... It allows you to get a lower height with further horizontal. Uh, it could be either or. Can I get back here? You know what? I don't often do this. All 
Perfect. I think last time I pulled it up, I did the exact same thing. All right, so. Yeah, you got all this down. And this is where you're stuck. Okay. So, look at my controller. See what I'm doing? See, I'm doing a double little, like, double tap. It allows you to get the distance. But you gotta avoid the pollen. Because I'm assuming what you're probably doing, right? You're probably doing this. You're probably like trying to, you're trying to go and you're getting caught by that lip. Like that. that that's what happens to you, right? Okay, so when the pollen reaches its peak, re-grab. Boom. Done. And if you haven't yet, I recommend you go look at my tutorial on how to deal with disco shells on YouTube. Yeah, you have to learn how to re-grab. Like, it may not seem like it, but everything that I do whenever I'm jumping, whenever I'm jumping in any game, uh, or in any Kaizo hack, I'm often almost always re-grabbing. Almost always. Yeah. Another way to get good at Kaizo is to drink out of a Noble Tofu Sucks mug. Uh, I make no promises on that. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. You would re-grab instinctively? Yeah, like, so much stuff that I do is already a re-grab. That was a re-grab. That's a re-grab. This is a re-grab. Re-grab, re-grab. Not a re-grab, re-grab. Oh, shit. All right. Like, most jumps that people are doing when they play Kaizo are re-grabs. Hello, sweet potato pumpkins. Hello, Verva Day. Yeah, once you figure out how to re-grab, you kind of just start doing it instinctively. Ah. Wait until you start doing it in other games. Dude, you know what game I did a lot of re-grabbing in just instinctively? It's fucking Hollow Knight. what makes SMW feel so good. I would agree, yeah. I would agree. This is pretty cute so far. Ah! Man, why am I struggling on building a bridge? Maybe it's cause I fucking hate Polybridge.
Free grabs make SMW RPG way easier. Of course. Okay. Confirmed Tofu is not an engineer. Uh, yes, I am not an engineer. Imagine not being an engineer. What is SMWRPG? Fuck if I know, dude. Fuck if I know. Regrab. I'm guessing I need this. I do need it. That's a good Kaiser block. That is a really, <laughs> really good Kaiser block. No, I haven't gone to the doctor yet. I keep debating if it'll be worth it. Because every day I wake up and I feel a little bit better. I've had a cough like this, ju just like this in the past before. And it sticks around for a little bit longer than I expected to, and I'm like, uh. Yeah, I'm already over the hump. Why, why, why am I, what, I'm gonna go to the urgent care, pay a copay, and they're gonna tell me just, all right, take your vitamin C, maybe here's some antibiotics. By the way, your body would have done this anyway if you just stayed home and dealt with it for two more weeks. It will just give you flonase. Dr. Cox, when I blow my nose, it's spotty with blood sometimes. That's indicative of a, a sinus infection, right? Indicative? How dark is the snot? It's clear. And it's only when I wake up in the morning that it is ever spotted with blood. Probably lupus. H. Or from snorting coke. Never snorted coke before. Most likely rhinitis and post-nasal drip, yeah. We only snort dew in the household. <laughs> I mean, I went to the gym this morning, I exercised, I ran, 
And when I was running, I didn't even cough when I was running. Um, it was funny. I actually started coughing when I stopped running. That was a cool first level. Yo, nice. The bloody nose could just be from a super dry desert environment. But it's not like a bloody nose, it's like... It's like spotted, it's weird. And I remember because the only reason I remember the spotty blood is because like four years ago, five years ago, I had the exact same thing. I went to the doctor and they said I had a sinus infection, gave me antibiotics. And it took me like a week to get better. I'm like, ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I hate going to the doctors. <laughs> I don't hate it, I just dislike going. I dislike going. <coughs> Colorado is way too dry, your nose has been rocks all month. Only the red Megamole can hurt you here. The others are your friends. Megamole can be landed on while they are moving up. There's no way to know. We're all just guessing. Yeah, I figured. It's like, I know my body better than anyone else, right? And like, I know when it's something that's like, I should probably get this looked at. Aren't I in good shape? Yeah, I, I would say I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I figured if I did go to the doctor, I would just go to urgent care. hit two of those blocks. What's the doctor that you see if you pinch a nerve? Uh, you need to find um, one of the anal doctors. Because you probably pinched a nerve inside of your uh, anus. Your nerve inside your anal. <coughs> L2, 3, and L4 keep poop off the floor. That's an actual medical uh, mnemonic. Yo, what's up, super little fist? My anus nerves are just fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll be the judge of that. Lucky I only have issues in two of those three. Just add all five. If anything, what I should go to the doctor for is I'm worried that the my front deltoid might be injured. I can't put my arm behind my leg. Like, when I do this and I lean back, 
I feel, I feel pain here. When I stick my arm behind my back and I lean back. Yeah, I feel pain. It's like a three, a three out of 10 pain, but it's still pain. And it would also go, it would also make a lot of sense because that's the arm that I would use when I worked at the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no, but like when I would ring something up, you know, because I had a couple months. I so first of all, when I stocked, I stocked like this. So like I would quickly throw stuff on the shelf, right? I would I would very rarely like sit like this direction and go this way. To me, it just like, it makes sense. This is also the shoulder that I injured when I crashed my motorcycle 10 years ago. So it could also be that. It was just a sprain. I just sprained the muscle. You need a lot of latar jet to fix it. There's from bad dislocation. I've never dislocated any of my joints before. Why in Texas specifically? You have internal rotation issues on your right side, but I feel all in from your neck to the back of the shoulder to the inside of the shoulder blade. You had super high grade spondylolis. Spondylolis thesis at age 11 from surfing and broke those. Now I just have to keep my core super strong and hamstrings loose. As someone who lives in Texas, we're assholes on the road. Can't be worse than California. God. People in California are so self righteous on the road. Spondy lithesis. Oh. Is spondy Latin? I learned a Latin word the other day. Impediment. You know, if you speak Latin, the way you say, like, the way you say stuff, like English word for stuff, the Latin word is impediment. Isn't that interesting? Like your stuff is just an impediment? H. I think it's Greek. Oh. Latissimus dorsi in Latin. Isthmus means very. So very lateral dorsal muscle. That's so interesting. Latin is so interesting. Can you lift your arm to your shoulder? Like... You mean like this? No, that doesn't hurt. Sinister is Latin for left handed, really? That's so interesting. The same shoulder. I'm, I'm confused of what you're asking. This? Yeah, I don't feel pain when I do this. It's only when I try. And the only reason I feel it is when I'm doing one-handed curls, I always tuck my arm behind my back. 
so that way I don't use it for any kind of momentum. Anyone have recommendations for swollen hands from gripping and punching on things very hard? My cock. Uh, yeah, find yourself a woman. Or a man, if that's what you're into. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna discriminate, whatever. Oh, secret? Secret? Shoutouts to Super Ben. Show Super Ben some love. Well, that's the last message box I hit. Oh, oh to YouTube, how to tell if you have a real tater cuff injury and figure out what movements or what exercises can loosen it up. Shameless plugs. You know, like, I don't mind when there's, like, portraits of streamers or emotes of streamers. I fucking hate when there's no blogs that are just like, <laughs> please go visit twitch.tv slash insert random fucking username. That, I hate that shit. When I see my name get put like that, I cringe. I'm random fucking username. No, I just, I, I can't stand with all these, like, all these hacks, like, just self-promoting themselves and promoting tons of streamers and, I don't know, dude. I just think there's, like, a point where it's, it's respectful, and then there's a point where it's just like, it's just disrespectful. And I think what really threw me off for it the most is there was like 12 nightmare cafes, and every single nightmare cafe had a message block at the very beginning that said, come check out my stream. And I just, that, that, that really bugged the shit out of me. It was almost like, it was kind of just like a ploy to get people to go check out the stream instead of making a good ROM hack. At least that's how it felt for me. That's where, it, where, where, it, what it felt like for me. Yo, Super Little Fist, thanks for the 100 bits. Wow, you gotta be quick. You have no problem with the content creator plugging their own content? Yeah, but what got, what bugged me is when it was like, well, like if it was like one ROM hack every like year or something or every couple months, you know, it's like, hey, here I am. I made this cool. But after 12 within like a three month period, it was just like, OK, you're this feels disingenuous. This feels disingenuous. I'm good.
Ah, damn it! Ah! Dude, dude, this is a sick level. Yes. So far, Chester Fields is two out of two. Two out of two on getting me with the troll. been enjoying watching Jambo. He's a cool guy. He is as masochistic as they come. Anyone who is willing to suffer through all of P86. Ugh. Ugh. Chester Fields are a brand of cigarettes. You know, this is a very long section. It doesn't feel like a long section though. This is fucking rad. Nice. Sma smackles. <coughs> Yeah, dude, this hack so far is fucking sick. This hack so far is fucking sick. No, no, I mean, it, it was definitely a very long section, but it didn't feel like a long section, if that makes sense. <coughs> All right, Rumble Bump Volcano. Hello, Camfair. Good morning. What's up, Koryatsu? Okay. Figure out what I'm gonna cook next. Oh, that was sick! Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. Check. Stir fry! Lobster Florentine! You got your Hello Fresh box today? Nice. Mustard chicken. I should remake mustard chicken except on stream and adjust the recipe to what I would change. Not this Wednesday, the next Wednesday. Nah, they're they're usually pretty good. 
are usually pretty good. The discount code is actually really fucking good. The discount code is going to be available for the whole month, so... What other kits did we get? Uh, we just got the pizza dia. And the pepper steak. Fuck. Between shipping and everything, you saved about 60 bucks. Nice. Yeah, like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing another sponsored stream for a very long time. Um, or if I do, I'm definitely going to try and negotiate more on what I have control over. Because uh, I, I talked to my I talked to my representative for like sponsored stuff and they said, you know, like you can negotiate. You don't have to just take the first deal that everyone offers. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know it was like uh, a negotiation. Raid show legends. No, they have to pay me five grand. Otherwise, I ain't doing shit. Wow, I almost just took all that. Barb's bounty for raid is 10 million? No, it's not. Is it really? Oh, you mean like what he'll do it for? Okay. I was like, Raid Shadow Legend is gonna pay him $10 million and he's not taking it? Full of shit. You would take that in a heartbeat. What's the most lame thing I would do for $5,000? Probably play Raid Shadow Legends. I can't think of anything that would be more lame. As a broke person? $5,000 is cares about integrity take their money so you say that lunchbox but i have built a stream and community around a very i don't want to say specific because it's not specific but i'm not going to sell something to someone that i don't believe in you know what i mean i'm not gonna do that
unless I get paid a fucking shitload of money. Like, Raid Shadow Legends offered me a grand to do two sponsored streams. And it's like, sure, a grand would be very nice to just have, to do whatever I want with. Also, I fucking hate mobile games, and I hate pay-to-win games. So if I'm going to try and sell shit to you guys, I better be making bank. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. Yeah, like, if I'm gonna sit here and pitch to my community this dumb fucking thing, it better be worth it for my community. It better be worth it for them, you know? Also, give me your fucking Twitch Prime. Holy shit. Chifo, thank you for gifting a sub to Twitch Prime. Tutor, thank you for the two months of Prime Gaming. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Most often, the profit margin is criminal. Good morning, Minchimpy. Yeah, dude, so far, this act is fucking sick. I watched a video of Asmongold. Basically, he used... Oh, I need to wait. <coughs> Asmongold used... He, he did a stream to show how much Lost Ark is pay to win, and he did it for charity. He did it for charity. So he basically like paid like thousands of dollars to upgrade his character and use like use money in the worst way possible to get everything he wanted on the game. And it was just like ludicrous. He ended up raising like 200 grand for Ukraine. It was crazy. It's crazy how much money gamers raise for charity. That game is not pay to win at all. Oh boy. Now we're gonna get into the debate of what exactly is pay to win. 
And that's not a conversation I feel like having anymore. We already had this discussion. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I am doing this wrong. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Yo, poison. Yep, I was doing it wrong. <laughs> Convenience and skins. If you make a game where you can pay for convenience you are then incentivized to make the game be inconvenient period period done stamp it Anyone playing Ghostwire other than me? I don't know anything about Ghostwire. I don't agree with that, Tanukaido. I think, though, if you make a game where you can pay to get r for convenience, you're definitely gonna be balancing a margin of keeping the game as interesting as you can while still making the game inconvenient. And there's definitely a fucking chart and a graph for it. I still remember hearing the news about how Blizzard hired psychologists to try and figure out a way to make the game as addicting as they could. Someone should make a pay-as-you-go Mario ROM hack. Yeah, then it's gonna be like this. Open up, FBI! Nintendo's gonna crack down on your ass. I want to make, be clear. I'm not sitting here saying you can't enjoy games that are pay to win. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I've never said that. Almost every MMO is designed on the principle of a grind, which is purposely inconvenient. And we love that shit. Always a grind. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. And until MMOs allowed you to pay to boost your character to 
pay for gold, they were good. How is Genshin pay to win if there's not a competitive aspect? Well, I don't think you need a competitive aspect to be pay to win. It, you have to determine what win means in the first place. And in a game like... I, I've never played Genshin Impact and I've never seen content from Genshin Impact aside from the advertisements. Uh, hold on one second. The eBay market for World of Warcraft and EverQuest were the starting point for pay to win. Selling your profile or weapons. If someone wants to spend four hours at work to earn the same amount of in-game stuff that you can in 30 minutes of playing, I'm okay with that. As long as there's nothing that they can get that you can't in reason with fashion. But see, then you're going to be having the discussion awkward of where is the line for that. Once you allow it at all, you have to determine where the line of where that's tolerated. And you're going to have a subjective opinion um, for everywhere you go. Everyone you talk to is going to have a different uh, perspective of what they allow or what they will be what, what they will consider tolerated, right? You don't know why people get upset if they when they find out that their game is pay to win? Because not a lot of people have the money to just spend on making it uh, on making the game easier for them. Whenever there is a path of least resistance, humans are going to take it. The second that you offer a path of lesser resistance, people are going to take it, period. Very rarely do people not do that. People want to feel special and their time is respected. <coughs> the whales prop up the free to play players. Like I said, I don't think that just because a game is paid away makes it a bad game. Um, but I don't agree with the business practice. I just, I don't agree at all with the business practice of making a game. You pay for convenience. You pay. The, the only time that I'm okay, like to where I'm, I'm comfortable with transactions being in games is where you are offered cosmetics. I think cosmetics are like the lowest bar of actually being useful because they're not useful it's just like a bragging thing it's just a way to make your character look cool it doesn't offer any intrinsic or inherent value if i could talk about whales without violating every nda i have Guild Wars 2, any item on the shop can be bought just by earning in-game gold. No money needed, really. No money needed, really, meaning you can use money. So you're telling me, if I had $10,000 to blow on Guild Wars 2, 
I could instantly buy everything I wanted, and you would have to earn it slowly? Is that what I'm understanding, Umbra? Warframe? I've never played Warframe. Nothing that would have any better stats. I think Fortnite's the best one, and I don't even play Fortnite. Speaking of Fortnite, did you guys see that they removed building? They removed building from Fortnite, which I'm I'm curious to see how that feels. I'm curious to see how it feels to where like. When I played a couple rounds of Fortnite a couple years ago, they're gonna put it back in pretty soon. It was done as a test and now it's gone forever. Oh. Oh, so it's like, it's never coming back, oh. Never mind then. they made it a permanent game mode oh okay because i was so sick and tired of playing against people and then they were just like such good builders they just like skyrocketed themselves into the air with building and i'm like i just i i, I just want to shoot people i don't have the omega fucking brain to build i just want to shoot Tired of the sweaty builders. If you want to fucking build, go play Minecraft. Apex Legends. I mean, it's any just like any other battle royale game, right? Was I too slow? I think I was too slow. <coughs> Escape from Tarkov is your shit? You know what my shit is? Motherfucking Realm Royale. I fucking love Realm Royale. It's exciting to me that High Res hired new developers for the game, even though they haven't updated it in like three years.
Yeah, they hired a fuckload of new developers, like 30 developers or something. Crazy. They must have realized that they are doing something right, right? They must have realized they're doing something right when they discovered that their Realm Royale hasn't been updated in, I think, since 2019? 2019. It hasn't been updated since 2019. And the game has a higher active user base than the newest Battlefield. They have to think in their head like, oh, we're, we're doing something right. We're doing something right. We need to go back. We need to go back. Yo, Nathrakis, it's nice to see you, man. Or Battlefield's just fucking up that hard. I mean, even if they're fucking up that hard, you have to admit, for a game that hasn't been updated in three years, to have over 2,000 active monthly users, there's gotta be something that people want from it. This act looks cool. It's actually really fun, Bob, yeah. Bobby Yega. That's a low bar of success to aim for. Yeah, isn't the new Battlefield scene as like the biggest blight in video game history? Like, no video game has fucked up as bad as that uh, Battlefield. No, it's like worse than cyberpunk. Yeah, so is my really good friend. He was really, really, really looking forward to Battlefield. You guys remember when we were playing Battlefield with Barb every weekend? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Dude, he's four for four on trolls. He's four for four! Four for four on trolls! Every single fucking troll I am falling for! You are a god. <coughs> Unreal Tournament. That could be fun. I'm supposed to be starting a Minecraft server in June, and I'm really worried about it. I'm very worried about it. Castle Wolfenstein. 
No, it won't be mods. I don't like playing modded Minecraft. It was fun last time. OG Unreal. No, dude, I just want to explore. I just want to explore in Minecraft. Why is that so difficult? Dude, I've been playing Minecraft since it was given away for free. And the meat pops didn't even exist. There were no meat pops. I remember when meat pops got introduced. wasn't health when you started. You played Minecraft when it was only creative mode with block colors? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, there's a secret exit here. Oh, let's go find the secret. Secret. Where would the secret be? If we played Unreal, I would probably prefer to play 04. Yo, Macrophage. Macrophage, thank you for the six months. Thank you. Game of the Year edition, Unreal. You know, I loved playing Capture the Flag. Oh, I see it. I played Minecraft when it was called Minesweeper. Instagib for you. Instagib was fun. Twin Towers, 100 points. Secret? A secret within a secret, huh? Oh boy, that's a lovely double chin. Finally got the credits on Elden Ring, Tofu. Took 120 damn hours, nice. Yo, that's awesome, Tezius. That's fucking awesome. Who was your favorite boss? Okay, I'm going back left, up and over, got it.
Electo. Remind me, who is Electo? I was playing glass cannon, so couldn't get touched <coughs> once. Electo is the furry from Hades. Oh, the assassin in the Evergol. Yeah, I know who, I, I remember. I remember Electo. Dude, I fucking learned there is a second Godfrey fight. In an Evergoal. Or Everjail, I'm sorry. Pronounced Everjail. Uh. Okay. You're stuck on Beastmaster? Uh, Beast Clergyman? Eternal's on sale for 50? Too bad it's only on the PlayStation. Interesting. I just got hit with seven ad streak, biggest I've had, and I watched everyone like the bitch I am. Yo, Justin, thanks for uh, helping pay my bills, dude. I really appreciate that, Justin. If you're not a sub here and you watch the ads, You're helping pay for my gas and my electricity. Ah. The perfume that gives you a bubble shield? I've never played with any of the uh, crafting. I'm mad jelly of your gas range. It's so level. What? What the fuck did you just say to me? My electric range is all crooked and shit. Oh, I see what you mean. One-shot that boss! <laughs> I still got it, dude. I still got it. They really do give you a kitchen sink worth of items and gear to throw at bosses. It was fun to experiment. 
Are you going to do a second playthrough? Yo, Chester. Chester, you've made something really fucking special here. This hack is fucking sick. <coughs> Have you fought Melania yet? Took down Merica, Moog, and Malakep. Oh, you mean Melania, not Merica? I'm like, where do you fight Merica? Chesterfield, you've also got me on four out of four trolls. Melania, Blade of Mikola. Yeah, out of the four trolls, I have fallen for all four trolls. It's a lot of fun. It is a fucking blast. You loaded Melania with dots? That's very smart. I'm really nervous to fight her with fists. You felt like a badass using the Uchi Katana? Uh, yo. Happy dance. Dope Happy dance. thank you for gifting a sub to Chesterfield. Uh, Chester, enjoy the tier one sub. Yeah, because my playthrough right now, I'm only using fists. I'm only using fists, so I'm pretty confident I'm going to whoop her fucking ass. You hold still and you have a laser beam. Today's a good day. I got a 10 BN annual earning. <coughs> Firm globally blocked on emails for my whole company. I got a 10 hour billion annual earning. Firm globally blocked on emails for my whole company. That doesn't sound like a good thing. I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, only fist weapons. And no, claw weapons do not count as fist weapons. If you're gonna headhunt me at my work email, your shit is gonna get blocked. The equivalent of say Mixer rep coming in and chat and being like, "Yo, join Mixer." Yeah, that that's bullshit. 
That's fucking bullshit. that allow you to go back and forth like this are so fucking cool. Ah! Fucking moron! <laughs> mm. Yo, Apothecals! Thank you for the 14 months. Much appreciated, dude. I wonder if that counts. Does that count towards the cannon? We haven't had a cannon go off today, have we? Time flies like a motherfucker. But someone's cannon went off today. Oh my god. No yump. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn blank into solid. Your progress will also be saved. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Pasto gas. <coughs> the only. You think it's a conspiracy? Hometown team, you think so much shit is a fucking conspiracy? Okay. I will say, as much fun as I have had playing this hack. Holy fucking shit, I cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is not real on this level. Whew. Why don't I believe in conspiracies? Because I don't fucking care. I'm not the first person to say that here. <coughs> Conspiracies are a conspiracy to get conspiracy theorists distracted from the real conspiracies. Actually, all the conspiracies are right in front of your face and you don't even realize it. Same question, please. I, I, I honestly just don't care. It's like, it, it's like, 
You know, the doomsayers that like worry about the great reset and everything else, or, you know, what happens if our president dies because he's such a, uh, you know, like he's losing his mind. And it's like all these things I have no control over. And I have learned in my life that I need to not be distracted by the things I have no control over. If I have no control over something, me stressing about it and me worrying about it will do nothing for me except cause me stress and discomfort. So what good does it do me? Uh, does anyone have a tinfoil hat emote? If you type in tinfoil, uh, it'll come up right now. They're infecting our vaccines with chips, so we believe the Earth is a globe. Now, how can you not care? <coughs> Start pillow compice? Pillow compie. Usually, my compie doesn't go on the pillow. But nice try, Dr. Cox. You're curious about everything and want things to make sense? Uh, uh, yeah, you do you. Don't forget, if a conspiracy can be uncovered by a couple lunatics using Google, it's a really, really shitty conspiracy. Crazy people typically don't believe they're crazy. Dude, I have no idea. Yeah, Chesterfield, are you gonna release a 1.1 to adjust the background of this level? Cause holy hot diggity damn, dude. I can't even focus. You've got no food, you've got no jobs. Our pet's hands are falling off. <laughs> What's up, Harma Haraka? This level with a couple other little tweaks. I hope you don't nerf the difficulty so far. So far, I feel like the difficulty is fucking... Oh, it's so good. Yeah, all I would do is probably just darken the background a little bit. Darken it up. Woof. It didn't look that crazy. I want I I I'd be willing to bet Aquarp this level so far has had a very 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 slight difficulty curve. Or the game has. The game has, not this level. Like, every level is just a little bit harder um, than the previous one, which I love. I think it's great. I think it's so far that the curve is like a perfect line going uh, uphill. So I wonder, with it being 22 exits, how... how it's going to um, peak. The verve is a perfect line. I 
I can't believe that all connected. <clears throat> I guess it's okay to think about conspiracies, but I don't know, to worry about them, dude. What are you gonna do? World War 3 breaks out, what are we gonna do? We can't control any of that shit. None of that is within our control. Ah. To believe those conspiracies is just as bad as believing none. I lose enough sanity thinking about the things that aren't conspiracies, thanks. Majority of the time, I feel conspiracies just make people worry to the point of hysteria. Hysteria? I love that Muse song. You know what song I've had stuck in my head all fucking day? And it's totally unrelated to everything, but I can't stop, like, humming it in my head. No, not Hysteria from Muse. Not Hysteria. I don't know the name of the song, but it's by uh, No Doubt. You hold me like you should, so I'm gonna just keep on dancing, dancing. <laughs> know what song I'm talking about? Rock steady. I'll, I'll play. I'll play like ten seconds of it. I can't play the rest of it. But man, that song has been stuck in my head all goddamn day. A song's classic. What is your guys' opinion of Don Henley? You guys like Don Henley? <coughs> no. Brings me back. Joe Walsh is better. I like a good Henley shirt. Yo, what's up, Zap321 dead? Boys, dude, Boys of the Summer, End of the Innocence, Heart of the Matter. Those are all like classic songs. Gwen Stefani was better in No Doubt. Another hot take. Britney Spears was never actually good. Leave Britney alone! You son of a bitch! Who said that? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the two-armed man. She gave children about him a good song to cover. Oops. 
Oops, I did it again. I buried your heart. Got lost in the drain. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, you think I'm in love. Britney was popular because of sex appeal. Apparently, she's writing new music. Christina wishes she had Britney's career, minus the head shaving. Her first album, though. Yeah, the, the Children of Bodom cover is so funny. Oh, baby, baby! And sometimes it doesn't line up. Britney Spears was the Walmart version of Christina Aguilera. Fuck. You know, you gotta give it to Britney, though. I don't think she's had any plastic surgery. Have you seen Christina Aguilera? She looks like a fucking sock puppet for how much plastic is in her face. one thing I don't understand. Fucking cosmetic surgery, or like plastic surgery, not cosmetic surgery, plastic surgery. Unless you have some kind of like deformity, or you know, like you are injured and you know, like it's, it's something like that. But just like, kind of want a different nose. Not as bad as Courtney Cox? Who's Courtney Cox? Which version of Christina? I don't even know what you mean by that question. Worst is Madonna. Monica, oh my god. You can't even tell that it's her anymore. Yeah. Almost looks like female Mickey, Mickey Rourke. <laughs> I got my boobs done and I feel fantastic. Yeah, but that, that goes in line with what I said. Like, unless you suffer from some kind of deformity or malformity that, like... Makes sense, I guess. You know, that's super fucking subjective, I guess, but... You know who else, like, fucked up their face pretty bad is Cameron Diaz. Dude, Cameron Diaz was such a babe! And then she got plastic surgery and looks... I don't, I don't even know. She looks like... Fucking Jim Carrey. Dude, Cameron Diaz in the mask is a fucking babe. Bruce Willis has asphagia? What is that? How bad can body dysmorphia be? I 
don't know, dude. I just feel like there's a lot of people who they're like, I'm just gonna get a nose job. Or, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I find it so unattractive. I find it so unattractive when anyone gets plastic surgery done. Those two dudes with a ton of plastic surgery recently died, right? You can't associate words in the correct language or recognize language. Low self-esteem is unattractive. I would agree with that. I would definitely agree with that. Michael Jackson's face probably would have caved in by now. Two dudes who had all the plastic surgery died from COVID complications. Not a fan of- yeah, I'm not a fan of makeup either. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of makeup. There is no beauty like true beauty. Bogdanovs, I think they were called. Have you guys seen, and, and this could be the people that Dr. Cox is talking about. Have you seen that guy who he was like born a white dude, but he identifies as this Korean musician. So he's had like 200 grand in facial reconstructive surgery to make himself look Korean. And he just, he, he looks like Lanky Kong. He looks like Lanky Kong. Imagine if Lanky Kong was a human. can be fun. I'm just not a fan. Ah, damn it. So <laughs> he has a funny face. Yo! Yeah. <coughs> you need a picture or a name? Uh... His name is Oli London. His name is Oli London, and he he sees himself. He's a huge fanatic, or she is a huge fanatic of this Korean K-pop star. So this is what he does after plastic surgery. See, look, it looks like fucking Lanky Kong. Like, look it. Spot the difference. You can spot the difference because there isn't one. Yeah. Yo. Why do doctors do that shit? Because they get paid money. Besides money? Can't think of a reason other than money. <sighs> Butt implants? They have like a 5% mortality rate. 1 in 20 people who get butt implants die. What the fuck? I do. I've... <sighs> I'm in this Discord. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a picture of what happens when your body rejects your butt implants. And I have seen the aftermath. <coughs> Ugh. I have seen the aftermath. Hello, gamer of toxicity. Butt rejection. 
fucking shit. Actually, 20 out of 20 people who get butt implants are going to die. I think he means due to complications from the surgery. Not never die, but die due to complications because of the butt implant. Yo, Troclos! Uh, Troclos, thank you for the 11 months, dude. <coughs> I'm doing good, man. What the hell is a rich person gonna do with $400? I, I don't know, Mika. What is a rich person going to do with $400? Butts are not kept. Just could you imagine having implants inside your butt cheeks and then sitting down on a toilet? I don't know, man. That just... that I, huh. Dude, when I had my dick piercings... I remember I was terrified to take a pee, even though I knew it was impossible. You fucking bitch. Extra cushion? Lawn sprinkler looking ass. Yeah, but see, the piercings didn't go through the dick. They just went through the skin of my dick. But I remember still, even then, I was terrified. He nearly screamed. Your buddy has nipple piercings. She dies, she dies. Butt implants. A 1 in 20 mortality rate. Wow. Yeah, this level's pretty tough. Level's pretty tough. Wow. My friend with nipples pierced was over for a party. We were playing volleyball in the pool. He got up to spike it and come down on the net and it ripped one of his piercings out. I love this chat. Come back for lunch. First thing I hear is what I was trying to die from butt implants. Never stop, chat. Never stop. <sighs> You're glad that you didn't. I remember when I went to a Slipknot concert with nipple piercings. Walked away totally unscathed. we get to the talk about butt implants we were talking about Gwen's to oh that's right 
We were talking about Gwen Stefani and No Doubt, then Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, which brought up plastic surgery. Yeah, gonna get my back dimples. Ugh. Dude, I remember when my sister, my sister wanted to get her cheek, her cheeks pierced, her dimples, and she didn't end up doing it, thank fucking god. Secret? Secret! Shove dust. This is gonna be pretty tricky. You miss your plugs a bit? Yeah, every now and then I kind of get like the random thought. I get the random thought, I'm like, ah, oh, stretch your ears back out. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm 32. I'm 32 years old. I think it's time to grow up. Yeah, I'm getting old, dude. I'm getting old. Overlook Mountain. That level was pretty cool, other than the aesthetics. Um, I thought it was great. I'm kind of confused on how I'm Chambo. Okay. <coughs> it's normal for a 32-year-old to have a loose ear pussy. It's seen a lot of usage. Thank you, Makaira Nutshack. A loose ear pussy. Insightful as always. He calls this a ear pussy because it's a hole. I think it's more accurately a Cheerio. It looks like a fucking Cheerio. Mika's text will be discovered by future civilizations and they will regard him as a philosopher of our generation. Yes. Cheerio! Uh, okay. Straight up balloon knot. Oh, 
man, that's uh, that's pretty tight. Have you ever thought about wearing a necklace through your ears? No? Can't say that I have. For my fucking Xerxes. Got the fucking necklace that goes from my, you know, my, my nose to my ear. gave me a four bucket. We're all imagining it now. That's a, that's a fucking tough section. Oh boy. Okay. Chim Chim Cheerio. I think something's gonna fall down right there to make that jump easier. Have <laughs> you guys ever seen those weird people who have not just like a, uh, dermal piercing, but they've got like a dermal implant. Okay, so I'm supposed to spin jump. I remember going to a, um, a tattoo convention. And you know, there's like those fucking freaks that have like the sclera of their eyes dyed. Spikes coming out of the skull. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like they have spikes coming out of their skull. Um, I remember someone I saw had his eyes dyed black and he had a star. Uh, it's Max's tail. He had a star like on his forehead, but it was like underneath the skin. Lizard people. Oh, I don't know, man. I just assume they're people who had bad parenting. <laughs> Look like Devil. I've seen those too. There's some folks that show up to Hollywood Horror Nights looking like that, part of the um, kind of freak show. It was on the show Lock Up Raw. Was it two inmates that did it while in jail? I've seen lots of split tongues. Yeah. You're surprised the eyes were functioning afterwards? 
I imagine if you dye the sclera to your eye, it's going to alter your vision in some way, right? Hello, mister. Hello, mister. So, because they're not, they're not dying like the aqueous humor to your eye. That's the liquid. It's the liquid inside the eyes. The aqueous humor. Um. But the sclera, though, right? Like, it doesn't ever come inside? Ever? The only thing that lets light in is the pupil. Have you seen, have you seen the actual, the, the idiot, the fucking idiot who they thought they could get their eyeball actually tattooed and someone actually took a needle to the eyeball? Because when you get, when you get your eyeballs dyed, it's just, it's just one syringe with a dye. But like someone actually tried taking a tattoo needle and tattooing over the eyeball, the person went blind. Yeah. You're in pain thinking about it? I know. How dumb can you be? <laughs> Last night we were watching the house. And uh House was just going, you know, through like walk-ins. And someone was talking about how they're having like this problem breathing. And they're like, yeah, I've got an inhaler, and I keep using it, and it's just like, it's never working. And House asks, well, do you know how to properly use your inhaler? And she's like, what do I look like, an idiot? And then House is like, can you please show me how you properly use your inhaler? And she like, she puts it on like fucking perfume. She like sprays it at her neck like perfume. And I just think of like, even though that's parody, I can only imagine how many people are relatively as dumb as that. Yeah, it's parody based on actual cases. Not even a joke. We had to teach patients incessantly how to use an inhaler. Well, I mean, what the fuck else do you do with it? You blow it into your fucking mouth. How else is it gonna get into your lungs? You're gonna fucking put your inhaler against your nipple and hope your nipple's somehow connected to your lungs? God. What if I use my inhaler in my ass? Then it'll help open up your anal cavity, probably. God damn it. They would puff it like a cigar. <laughs> That's really funny. Instructions unclear. Dick stuck in inhaler. I have just a dot under my left eye. The girl who did didn't tell me for 10 years. I was pissed drunk and will always for it was a freckle. Oh, y'all always thought it was a freckle. I need to go pee really fucking bad. Give me a second, guys. You're mortified and you still tell people it's just a dark freckle.
I don't think my microphone is supposed to do this. Oh yeah, it's really loose. Huh. Every time I come in here, you haven't grown a single hair. means you're someone's bitch with one dot underneath the eye? Does it really? Well, that's really unfortunate. Hopefully you never go to prison. Prison culture. Fucking prison culture. A little too early. Who makes these rules and everyone follow them? It's all just a big conspiracy. just poking fun and we've come full circle Barb Kribby so what's the consensus on the Kirby game worth the purchase It gets as hard as Elden Ring at the end. I don't know who that is. It looks like that dino is smoking some mad fucking reef. What's the point of the Goomba being on that one? Uh... Safety jump? Maybe? Controlling the Goomba population. Okay, re grab. Got it. Got re grab. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? Mediterranean. Ooh. Oh. 
Hi. Air. Air is good. Aw, <coughs> oh, Pokeballs. Aw, oh, dude, I fucking love Pokeballs. Me and my wife both took out pork. We took out pork for dinner. I kind of want sushi. Gonna take a nap for dessert. Sag. Gotta collaborate. Cooperate? You mean collaborate? I don't think operate is a word. Leg up none. Cut a pork? <laughs> I'm not sure. Pork loin, I think. You kind of want subs? We'll see. Dude, I would love some subs right now. Long no tier three. No, there's no hint. <coughs> I'm being very forward. Fuck. Yeah, I'm still getting over the cough. I have a feeling I'm gonna be having this cough. For quite some time. Hey, dude, I'll settle for Jersey Mike's. Hey, dude, I would totally settle for Jersey Mike's. I love Jersey Mike's. I think Jimmy John's is better. But I'll take it. I'll take it. No, I haven't gone to the doctor. I took care of my taxes, though. What is Pancake?
It's a Filipino noodle dish. Can't sit. That's pretty cool. That's fucking cool. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had like Filipino food. Why you eat cabbage? You never had corned beef and cabbage? How can you not have corned beef and cabbage, dude? Corned beef and cabbage is sick. Fuck that shit? Aw, oh, man. Corned beef, eggs, and onions? Aha! Yo, this is sick! It would have been funny if you made this on a timer by having like a sprite show up and block the way. You're Filipino, but you don't know the names of anything? <coughs> Are you even a real Filipino then? Sounds familiar, but you can't place it. No, I'm a Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Energon? How are you? <sighs> oh, that was really funny. Yellow on the- yeah, I figured. Um, this sky shadow, thanks for the hundred bits. <coughs> oh boy. Can you please? Please just not do that.
I don't know why I just did that. Oh man. So I'm gonna get that. I'm so confused what I'm gonna do here. It's not like you can make it into that pipe. From that angle. Oh my god. I've never been a tremendous fan. Oh, well, pardon me then. Jesus fucking Christ. Never been a fan of Molly Crew. Never been a fan. Like, I could not name one song that Motley Crue's ever writ wrote. Like, I'm sure if I heard them, I would probably remember, but I've just... Oh no, dude. God, fuck damn it. Play some Gran Turismo 3. Why, so I can be a nerd and a redneck at the same time? Doctor feel good. This so I can hear Motley Crew. can't believe this dude my parents raised me on sticks and beetles Yeah, a little bit of Queen. Lots of Eagles. My dad loves the Eagles. Okay. I don't mind the Eagles. I think Don Henley is better solo. Toto, Phil Collins. I don't know anything about Phil Collins. Based streamer? Based on what? Steven, Bob Dylan, yeah, Bob Dylan. Oh. Me love was big in your house. My dad always uh, played sticks. Got too much time on my hands and taking away. 
Digging away. Your dad was obsessed with ACDC. My dad had a coworker that was obsessed with Kiss. And every time, I remember whenever I saw this guy, he would always ask me, was it any Kiss yet? Not your thing. Yeah, I couldn't get in a kiss. I can't stand ACDC. It's it's the same. The re I can't stand ACDC the same way I can't stand Dream Theater. And I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Fourteen-year-old me is very upset right now. All their songs sound the same? No, it's the fucking voices are way too goddamn high-pitched. Their voices are way too high-pitched for me to enjoy. Read. Yeah, dude, it's like you 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 listen to Dream Theater and their guitars and their drums and their bass are so heavy. And then you hear the singer and he's like, yeah. And I'm like, one of these does not belong, man. One of these does not belong. I, I, I don't get this. I, yeah. That was great. Same way. Yeah, dude, Rush is the same way. Rush is the same way. I think it's cool that all the guitarists use a double neck guitar. That's a cool little gimmick, but also... Your lead singer. Like, Evanescence Amy Lee has a deeper voice than you do. I don't know. Not a fan of high pitch. I'm like sitting here trying to think. Is there any... Is there actually any male singer that has a high pitch voice that I'm into? I don't know. Ugh, I really enjoy like... A couple songs by Avril Lavigne, Bruno Mars. Ah, I don't. I cannot stand Coheed and Cambria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Coheed and Cambria fans. I can't get into it. You only like a few songs by them? Brian Wilson, Beach Boys? I'm indifferent to the Beach Boys. ABBA? Don't know who ABBA is. I feel like Sky Shadow is gonna end up like... <coughs> Sky Shadow is gonna end up unsubscribing from my channel. 
Yo, Heinrich, thank you for the 25 months of subs. Mars Volta, don't know who that is. It's the second ban in a row that I've insulted or haven't third, I guess, in a row that I can't stand. My cousin's band was on tour with them and you were like, what the fuck? Yo, thank you so much, Heinrich. Mama didn't raise no bitch. What do I listen to? Um, my music of choice lately has been Korn, uh, System of a Down. I've been listening to more Stone Sour than Slipknot lately. I usually am always pumping Slipknot, uh, but lately I've been listening to more Stone Sour. Uh, you know, I love Incubus. I'm a big fan of Incubus. Their album Science is one of my favorites, so. You don't want vocals? See, I'm the opposite. I feel like if your lyrics don't have some kind of meaning, I can't. I I, I don't have as much interest. If if your lyrics are like wilted and carry no substance, I I just don't care. Just shut your fucking mouth. And no, I'm not saying that because Will Smith said it. I mean, like, actually. Bad Omens? Dude, Bad Omens is so good. Shallow and Pedantic? You want it to be not even real language? Why? <clears throat> My day is getting even better. I might get to rip hardware out of a data center by force. A crow left of the murderer is probably my favorite from Incubus, but Aquius Transmission is my favorite song from them by far. I think vocals can be a nice and interesting instrument, but I don't want my language center to get involved at all. <laughs> interesting. I have a friend who's like that. They, they much prefer instrumental. Hello? Make you aware that the government suspended the Tax Collection Act and will settle all old tax debts that U.S. residents may have. This means you are not going to need to pay back your past due taxes since they are non-collectible and ready to be settled. Using our automated approval technology, you are now able to obtain enrollment information based on your current situation. To use our AI automation and find the program you are approved for, you will need to write down the website. I will also deliver a text message that will provide a link with the program benefits. Would you like to hear the website and receive a text message? No. No. No? I am sorry my responses are limited. I just need to know, would you like to hear the website and receive this text? Please state yes or no. No. No, no, no. Keep the change. I am sorry my responses are limited. I just Set. need to know, would you like to hear the website and receive this text? Please state yes or no. Maybe? Great, and to confirm, you would like to find out more about the IRS settlement program and you think you do owe more than $10,000 in back taxes. Is that correct? Nine! 
I am sorry my responses are limited. Nine, 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 nine! Previous question. Please state yes or no. Nothing! <laughs> I am sorry this program doesn't seem to be a fit for you. Would you like to be added to the do not contact list? Yes! You have been successfully added to our do not contact list. Yes! Goodbye. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Success! Ah, oh, Light of the Iron Sausage, thanks for the 100 bits. Snug, thanks for the 100 bits. Oh my god. My wife bought me tickets to Red Hot Chili Peppers for my birthday. Pretty stoked to that for that this fall. That's awesome, dude. I would love to see the Chili Peppers. You know, one of my bucket list bands that I want to go see with my wife is uh, Foo Fighters. And I'm really sad that I won't get to see, uh, what's his name, Hawkins. I did two, Little. I did two. Yeah, Taylor Hawkins. Yeah. Tony Hawkins got none. Tony Hawkins. Shit. You want to see Rage Against the Machine? I feel like System of a Down is another of my bucket list bands. <coughs> Chemical Brothers and Swedish House Mafia. Uh, I've never heard of either of those bands. to one shot it right here I don't know who that is well that looks like a shitty ripoff of a just cook emote APC are the two live I've wanted to see, but the timing was always bad when they were playing close to where I was living. No, because all they're doing is promoting a bunch of streamers. I hate that shit in my ROM hacks. I hate when there's uh, a bunch of message boxes just telling everyone to go to all these other channels. After dealing with 12 nightmare cafes, I'm done with it. I don't mind portraits and I don't mind emotes, but if you have a text box just saying, go check out this person, I find it to be rude. Personally. One of the text box says pee pee poo poo. I don't think this is that kind of hack. Gene Hoglin. I keep hearing everyone say it's gonna be Petrucci. Petrucci? Whenever that's in a ROM hack, I find it cringy. Yeah, 
has nothing to do with like uh I don't know, man. I just I like if it's at the end and your names are in the credits, I think that's cool. I think it's for me what bothers me is a call to action to go to go check out a channel. I don't know. It just bo it bothers me. That's all. Mike Portnoy. Whew. I would find it very cringy. This is tough. Who's your favorite song from the Kirby series? What about One Two Oatmeal? Wow, that's tough. Holy shit, and then he's kicking the switch up there. <clears throat> One, two, oatmeal is a top song. This is Koopa Beach from Mario Kart. So you're telling me that Sky Shadow was lying again. I don't know what that arrow's supposed to mean. Oh, it means the platform's gonna go back up. Gotcha. Platform's gonna go back up. Oh, hold on. Hold on once. I was gone for too long. She had to investigate. Yeah, whenever I, uh... am gone for too long, Winry will come out from her little hidey hole. That's six for six, Chester. That's six for six. <coughs> hey, what's up, Xiao Xiao?
There we go. Man, I'm so glad you're good at trolling. I'm so glad you're so good. Creepy steeple. Bro, let's see what we got. It's Chambo. Uh, Chambo underscore. He's a streamer. He's a cool dude. I don't understand why it's like that on the overworld, but I'm not the character inside the game. you hey it's X water almost hit it checking for other secrets Bad jammers. Any bad jammers? Bad jam? Yeah. Except it's a capital B A T. Pleasant path. Was there a secret in this or a secret exit? The ghost house. I guess not. Is that really necessary, Chester? Come on, man. If someone can get the key through there, it should be impressive. No need to repress it.
That emote concerns me, Sky Shadow. Yes, yeah. All right. I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me uneasy. I think one of the Rexes fell off. I think? I wish people would stick to damn conventions for emotes. The egg in me is furious. Wait. Damn conventions? Oh, you mean how, like, Bad Jam needs a capital B, but Rat Jam and Cat Jam are not? Is that what you're referring to, Light? Type bat J then tab. I don't think there's a lot of people who know that you can actually tab BTTV and FFZ. I don't think people realize that. It's all emotes. Are you re-grabbing a lot? Yes, I'm always re-grabbing. not allow that. Now I gotta try it. Oh. Chesterfields, you're being inconsistent. Some munchers kill the key, other munchers do not. Yeah, I kept crashing Twitch. You know why? It's because you were looking up too much porn. You also need more RAM. No such thing as too much porn. Yeah, says the fucking gay furry. Okay. Hey! 
H! How much downloaded wham do we need? Um, you can go to downloadmorewham.com. Uh, this is Genbu. I'm pretty sure. That's Genbu. You guys remember the first time you fell for Alt F4? Yes. I was playing a World of War or not World of Warcraft. I was playing Warcraft 3. And it was in a custom map. I don't remember what the custom map was, but I want to say it was some kind of hero arena. The first time you ever fell for it was 15 seconds ago? Shut the fuck up. There's no way you fell for it. Back in Diablo 2, was told it was a dupe glitch, but the person who did it didn't get my items before I could reconnect. Slash disco. You fell for Control W? I fell for Control W also. <laughs> and I fell for Control W? A lot sooner than you would have expected. Like, what year do you guys think I fell for Control W? Dude, Von Sweet. <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty. I didn't know I didn't know Control W was a thing until 2020. Someone typed it in chat saying, "Yeah, Control W." What does Control W do? It closes the browser. Whatever screen you're on for your browser, it closes it. Don't try it out. That's going to hurt my view count. Can't be doing that shit. What do I think of the hack? It's fantastic. The hack is incredible. I keep forgetting this part. You're on a Mac. Where would I rank it difficulty wise? Oh. Uh... I'm not sure. Let me finish it and I'll be able to answer that question. I think the lead singer of System of a Down doesn't want to be part of the band and sounds bored. Uh, I mean, in some way, you're actually not wrong. He has gone on public record. Saying how he's frustrated with the band. Yeah. That's also why he had his, his own solo project. Search Tonkin. But I think if you listen to Genocidal Humanoids, their newest song, you could hear the... the oomph inside Surge's voice. 
Are they not trusting in self-righteous suicide? No, like, it's like a bunch of drama. They, um... They're all saying, like, the entire band is saying it's all Surge's fault why they're not making music. It's all because of Surge. And Surge came out and said, well, the reason he doesn't get back together is because he gets paid disproportionately and doesn't have enough of a voice share with the band. When it comes to interviews and public situations. Yeah, he straight called him out. But what's funny is if you go try, have you guys ever heard of the band called Scars on Broadway? Anyone ever heard of Scars on Broadway? I'm gonna guess no one has heard of Scars on Broadway. Scars on Broadway is the other, so Serge Tonkin left in like, I don't know, was it 09 or something? He left System of a Down. And the rest of the band formed a band called Scars on Broadway. And I tried listening to them. I didn't really care for it. It was all right. They had a couple hits. But I think it should show how much Surge mattered, right? It would be like, imagine, imagine if, oh, I don't know. Imagine if David Grohl wasn't in the Foo Fighters. You know, his, his voice is so important. This hack has an actual good difficulty curve, which is not common in Kaizo. I would agree with that 100%. Most of the time when you play a ROM hack, it's like all over the fucking place with the difficulty. This part's pretty tough. Like you gotta time it. I keep forgetting to time it. John Hoggum left Agaloc and the other members created Parada and it was Booty. So yes, I understand the situation. I don't know a single name you just said. I would better understand Dr. Cox trying to explain to me a complicated medical term than that entire combination of words. Nor does anyone else in chat. Michigan to Oregon to see. His demands for the hotel during those two days, food and drink, were above presidential. I can say that much. Hmm. <coughs> I don't think having demands 
for your living situation for a couple days is like a mark of your character. Wow. Alright. I think it's how you treat others. You know, I have yet to meet anyone on Twitch who has come, come from the same city that I came from. Wow. I have not met a single person. No one comes from Arrakis, Tofu. Thank you, uh, Papa Chief. People give you shit for thinking Phil Collins is better than the Beatles. I think the Beatles is overrated. I like their music, but I don't know, man. I don't think that they're like, you know, I don't, I don't know. on and on, doesn't it? I met someone on Twitch whose parents live in my hometown, which is really small, so that was cool. I got to meet Destructo Spin, and he held up, held me up like a child in his arms, and it was glorious. We also drank beer and watched live music, so good times were had. That's pretty cool. Where am I from originally? Uh, Victorville, California. Victimville. Ah! Oh, this part is hard. Danger City, USA. Yeah, it's a very dangerous city to live in, or at least in 2010. In 2010, it was like one of the top 10 most dangerous cities to live in in the United States. <clears throat> oh my God. This part is so finicky. Tiger King style zoo. Uh, I believe that's in Phelan, Phelan, California, which is actually where I went to high school. <sighs> You're down in Vista. I don't even know where that is. This 
Hispernia? Hesperia? Yeah, Hesperia is close by. What was my nickname in the hood? I didn't have a nickname. The only nickname I've ever had in my whole life is Tofu. Uh, it's right next to Oceanside. My sister lives in Oceanside. No, Noble T and G. T the G. I'm about to fucking time you out, Jeroke. Nah, because my name's Christopher. I went from Topher to Tofu. Ah, uh, yeah. Gangster Tofu. Pasty white like tofu. Topher is a nickname for Christopher. Mind blown. Yeah. Like Topher Grace? His name's like Christopher Grace, isn't it? Is this from Final Fantasy 7? I'm pretty certain this is from Final Fantasy 7. Cool nickname. It's like, it doesn't it go like Cries of the Planet or something? Eesh. No, I was not popular. Not until like high school or um, sorry, not high school. Not until uh, senior year. In senior year, I would say I was fairly popular. Freshman year through junior year, though, or fucking hell. Interesting. Interesting. What changed? Um, I stopped giving a shit. Another secret! Boy! That's just cooked. Not many second half nicknames I can think of. No one named William goes by Yum. So much Kirby music. Why does everyone think it's fucking Kirby music today? Oh. Yummy? You want to see a Benjamin go by Jammin? Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the in the world, man. Mm, I'm 
almost had you. indicators are off you should go by eater instead of Pete that's a I'm sure it means something in like Norwegian that's a you eat my nephew is Benjamin so you call him jammin Ben knew a Kimberly that goes by Burly? Now you're just making shit up. I lost my virginity to a Kimberly. It did work. I'm not a skinny lad. <coughs> you know a Richard that goes by Dick? No, that's not one that I understand. Stall, short for crystal. God oh, damn it. She also lost her virginity? No. He's five and runs around my house like he's a track star. My name's Jordan. People call me Dan. I don't call you Jor. You know a Beverly that goes by Bev? Huh, I wonder. Dude, your indicators are so goddamn off. You know a Jonathan that goes by John? I just can't imagine in like 2022 naming your child John. Like, it's the most basic, unoriginal name I could ever think of. Bruh, this pipe is impossible. You don't know any robbers that go by Bert? Yeah, you do. On Sesame Street. Ned Bud Kneezer. John Kamad made the toilet that we all use to this very day. I have a friend named Robert that goes by Birdie. John is a biblical name, it'll never go away. I want to know what your first name is, Mika. Probably something fucking stupid. Ezekiel? You know, funny enough, I know an Ezekiel and he's gay. He said his first name on stream once. Mame Freak, DM it to me. DM it to me. Did I ever go by Tofu? Only when I was a tattoo artist. That's actually where the name Tofu comes from. It's a derivative of Tofu or Tofu. It's my first name, Chris. I'm a Chris.
might be Jeremiah. What is Noblet from? Uh, it's because I have a small penis. A Noblet is an accolade for a small penis. Every Chris that you've met or known, except one, is an asshole. I mean, checks out. I am indeed an asshole. Uh, yo, I fucked up there. Would anyone with a small penis ever admit it? You're a Chris, married to a Katie. That streams SMW. Are you barred without a widow's peak? See, you guys are all noblets deep down. Oh. Uh. Yo, what's up, Faye? How long did I tattoo for? Three years. I had a friend who was proud to have a tiny penis. He even went by the nickname Pindic. Hey, man. Look it. If you got a small dick, you know you gotta you gotta work with what you got. It's not like you can you know like just get a magical fucking penis implant. Like you know, it's not like you can get a breast augmentation that all of a sudden makes your dick like five times its size. All right. I have a friend with oh wait uh I have a friend with a small penis, but somehow he's successful at those kind of dumb girls. Never understood the mindset, but always the same type. In my high school wood shop, there were two guys named Nicholas and Richard, and we used to call them Little Dick Nick and Baby Dick Rick. Well, thank you, Makaira Nutshack, for sharing. not the size of the boat, it's how you steer it, brah. That was pretty cool. That was pretty rad. Alright, let's do a prediction. Okay, all I can think when I hear this is send your regrets to Bazaar. Will I yump? There you go. Will I yump? Yeah, the level I hate most is our I know all the gambling addicts are here now. 
can smell you. you. Smell like a bakery. Yum. Ah! Gambling's tough work, gotta carve up. I might convince my wife. And we go have sushi tonight instead of cook. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and convince her. A yump is slang for small penis. Ranger Riley. With the two years. God motherfucking damn. Yo, thank you, Ranger Riley. Fuck. <coughs> no, it was Cozy Ducks. The level is called Yomp of the Scamp. It was the one with the little star that would bounce along the level. It was actually my least favorite level from Zar. I remember correctly, Chode is for someone whose penis is wider than it is long. Learned when I was playing Jedi Knight 2 online. Someone was using the Yoda character model and we called him Chode. Choda. I gotta say, Jerok, after watching your stream and hearing how eloquent you are with your words and how nice you are to everyone, knowing that story just makes it so much funnier. Uh, Jerok is like this master pianist. You know, he, he fucking plays the piano. He's like not this degenerate. And then he's just like, yeah, you know, when I was younger, if I remember correctly, a chode is a dick that's wider than it is long. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. Oh, I can't make it back. What's the prize I won the other day? Can I offer it to someone who knows what it is about? Mario Maker Day or something, just asking. I don't know what the fuck you're on about. I have no idea what you're on about. Shit and marbles. I came 999th spot. I'm such an idiot. Oh, the kitten cannon? 
Oh, the kitten cannon only happens every five subs, and then the incentives start Friday. Yeah. If you want to see a list of incentives that you guys have unlocked, exclamation point, cannon. If you need any more details, feel free to ask. You came 10th in that marbles race? <coughs> Just found out that my bestie is being deployed to Alaska for 18 months or up to three years. gonna complete it that's the that's yeah yes yes I'm even gonna go get a steering wheel I'm gonna dress like a redneck while we play desert bus You're gonna veer off course six hours in and get the rope. I don't know who this is, but that is a cute emote. Alright, am I gonna yump? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! That is a yump! <laughs> yes, I will. <coughs> oh, fucking shit! <laughs> How am I feeling about this act? This act's great. Yeah, this act is sick. No. <laughs> you can't actually do it, can he? A one frame freak. Come on, sing. Happy dance. Happy dance. Uh, hold on one second. Gifting a tier one sub to the real Faye Valentine. Thank you so much. <laughs> one in 60 chance. Sky Shadow is now three for three on and not knowing how shit works. Dr. Cockles, first of his name, defender of his wife's amazing chest with his rock hard abs. Lordy. One frame trick, 60 frames per second, advanced mathematics. Okay, Mika, if it's not one in 60 chance, can you please explain to the class what it actually is? It's 50-50, you get it or you won't. Oh. Yellow Swerve knows the trick. 0% chance with this guy behind the wheel. Grim, I just got a yump. What are you talking about? I literally just yumped. 
which makes your math invalid. Also, hi, Grim. Grimmy pants! You got an email for your second booster? Koryatsu, if you mention the word booster in my stream one more fucking time, I'm gonna slap you on the ass. Promise. My mom says that if I am a good boy, I will get to ride in the car without my booster seat. Troll? I am disappointed. What can I do with Mario Maker Unlock from Kitten Cannon? Okay, so the way it works, Evolovi, is I'm going to be playing all those incentives. All those incentives at exclamation point cannon, I'm going to play. This Friday, um, we're going to be starting Hyper 6 and Bloodborne. So I'm going to be able to knock those two off. Once I'm done with those, we'll add in more. And that's going to be the content for the foreseeable year. Yeah. Nintendesi. Uh, no, not 100%. I'm going to be finishing it. I never finished Hyper 6. I started it a long time ago, and I got to the close to the end, and I gave up. Yeah, I'm glad it's more well paced. I think on average it's been oh oh hello there all bosses uh yes the the it's supposed to be for dlc specifically uh here comes mage thank you for your full year of subs thank you is that is that a does that count is that a new sub I know it says 12 months. I don't have the data on my end. Oh, uh, what's up, Chambo? Morning. Since you have played so much Kaizo, can you anticipate what the hack wants you to do naturally yes god fucking damn it oh dude Well, happy dance. Uh, there it goes. Uh, Chambo. Goodbye. Main Freak, thanks for gifting a tier two sub and a ban to Chambo. Sad. Sad. Yeah, if someone made a hack like this and named it after me, I would be very happy. Wow. 
I would be very happy. I get my year achievement in nine days. I don't want to pull some ordinary bullshit like herder, uh, nine month baby. Well, it wouldn't be a nine month baby because it would be a year, you fucking idiot. My Ultra Noblet Land hack will be much worse. You know, Mame Freak, I would believe you if I knew you could commit to fucking anything, but you're just a bitch. So I'm not worried about you making a hack named after me. Every time I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a god gamer. Oh my god, I totally just one shot this entire section. Also, Chester Fields is like, fuck you. I don't know why I held up two fingers. Fuck you. Jambo, if you're confused, if you're still here and you're confused why you're banned, you can put in an unban request. I only deny it if it's really fucking lame. <coughs> fuck you twice. Oh. Fuck. God fucking fuck fuck. Fucking shit ass balls. <coughs> Ugh. How's everyone's week going so far? Seventeen levels done. Seventeen levels done for what? <coughs> or a thing. I haven't said fucking shit ass balls since 2018. Oh, look at that. We have an unban request coming in from. Oh, shit. Chambo. <coughs> Not confused. Thanks for the tier two meme. Been dying to get out of this chat anyway. Yeah, most people feel that way. <laughs> most people feel that way. Uh, spring lasted all of two days and now it's snowing again. Amaze balls. My wife? 
guys know like the rule of labor and how the person who works the hardest gets like more work? Well, my wife being, you know, like the best sixth grade teacher she is, uh, she got a student transferred to her class because she has good classroom management. Except, you know, the really shitty thing about this is this fucking sixth grader sexually assaulted another sixth grader and didn't get expelled for it. Yay! Now Caitlyn has to deal with this little fucking prick. Yeah, imagine that shit, right? Imagine that shit. Your taxpayer's dollars going hard at work. All I'm saying is it would not surprise me if private schooling and homeschooling become way more popular over the next 10 years. Why isn't he in kitty prison? Um, because he's not a feline. I'm the better school now, so I don't get to behavior problems anymore. I get to swap parent kids instead. Yeah, can she refuse? Uh, she was basically insisted. But next year, she's not going to be a sixth grade teacher anymore. She's going to be the... Li so right now, right, the way it works is there's like, you know, however many teachers per grade. Per grade. And then there's one lead. And that person is essentially like the head of that grade. And right now, Caitlin is not the lead for sixth grade. But next year, she's going to be teaching fourth grade. And she is going to be the lead. Yeah. Joe Rogan shredded Will Smith for what he did. Thank you, Evalovi, for your just your wonderful, your wonderful uh, information that no one gives a fuck about. <coughs> I don't think sexual assault, uh, assault, sexual assault should get you expelled. I think it should get you bound to a rack and have stones thrown at you by a public man. Uh, why not just like blame the parents? Because it's obviously the parent's fault for a sixth grader. You can't stone a child. Stone the parents. Kid is getting molested, I guarantee it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I I mean kids they don't they don't learn that stuff from anywhere else other than home. Right? Pretty sad. Oh. The internet? Now, apparently, this person's mother, this kid's mother, is, like, just as bad as the kid. Like, the, the mom just does not give a shit. The father is not in the kid's life. Oh, shit. If you have kids, will you do provate or home homer school? Jack and shirt, I'm gonna let you try again. Oh. Just a shitty situation. Oh. How do you not give a shit if your kid is assaulting people? Pornhub taught me that my stepsister shenanigans is perfectly fine and getting caught in a dryer is fair game. Thank you, Sky Shadow. Let's see. Hold on one second. A 
Let's see. No, it's funny that you guys say that because I have. <clears throat> I need to upload this. A Goopa Goopa made this for me. And I need to change the skin tone because I'm not this dark. A Goopa Goopa made this for me. Nobel. Look it. He even spelled Noble wrong. But my skin's not that dark. You know, I'm not Samoan. I'm not Samoan. Oh, boo. That would have been a really good place for a secret. Ow. Nice. Ow. <coughs> mm. Ow. Phenomenal. I was homeschooled until ninth grade. I didn't learn science or history at all during homeschool. All I did was math and write essays. And by the time I went to public school, because I hadn't been around other kids, I had no social skills at all. Which led to high school being a nightmare. Homeschool is a net negative. I mean, don't, isn't that kind of like dependent on your parents kind of introducing you into social situations? How's the hack so far? Dude, this hack's sick. This hack is really sick. Ow. The worst part of homeschooling is sex ed class. You never met a normal homeschooled kid? Some people homeschool in groups. Ow. The amount of social interaction you get at school. Uh, I don't know. Let them play EverQuest. Then Link Dead can be their friend. Yeah. Perfect. Link Dead could be my kid's friend in like 10 years. And then I'll have kids and they'll be, you know, of age. I think Dad's a totally normal individual, too. I would assert that most parents have no clue what they're doing, myself included. Just hope I don't fuck it up too badly. Oh. Fuck. Log into RuneScape. Oh. Your parents fucked it up badly. Oh. Yeah. I mean, see, here's another problem. I went to school. I went to public school, and it was still a nightmare. And I was never homeschooled. Because my parents never taught me how to act in front of people, and I didn't fucking know. Good parents do not equal good educators. But what if my wife is a teacher? Oh. Oh. She was taught how to be an educator. Oh. That's cheating. Want to work at home along with her job? Oh. <clears throat> she teaches at a public school. Oh. 
Will she ever go into admin or does she love the classroom too much? Uh, you know, I've never actually asked her that question. I think she loves the kids. She loves making an impact on their lives. Okay. Siblings or peers? You're in awkward fucking school, turned out fine, but you have two siblings. You see, my brother and sisters were all seven years younger than me. So we had like a big enough gap to where we weren't like friends until adults. And even then I barely talked to my siblings. They're all fucking pigs in a blanket. I'm just sitting here almost like an only child. You got a two year split. I have two sisters and a brother and they're triplets. I really got left out of that party. You want to make it? You want to know what makes it even funnier? <coughs> my dad told me when I was like 23 years old that there's a chance he's not actually my father. Because when he got with my mom, she almost got pregnant immediately. And apparently my mom was a fucking slut. So there's a chance we don't even share the same fucking parents. <coughs> Still is. <laughs> Do they look like me? Kind of, but I mean, we shared the same mother. Do I like my siblings? Uh, they're all right. <coughs> You're mad at my dad for telling me that? Why? Why? He was just honest. He told me we can get a DNA test. <coughs> I was like... You're a terrible father anyway, so fuck you. Did it hurt my feelings? Why would it hurt my feelings? I could give a flying rat shit. Who my parents are. <coughs> Do they look like this? I've got a family picture of uh, me and my brother and sisters. I can show you guys real quick. Let her live her life. Stonks! <sighs> Gigi's funny. <coughs> I want to say something, but you guys are going to take it so out of bounds immediately. I'm not stupid, and I already know exactly what you guys are going to say. My sister... She's really, really into fitness. 
and I mean that like sincerely. Like she is so big on running and being fit and healthy. <coughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, Makaira Nutshack. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Makaira Nutshack. Oh. Tofu, go to the doctor. <clears throat> Why? So they can tell me. So they can tell me what I already know. Get some cough medicine. Cough medicine is going to do me nothing. I am congested. I could take Dayquil, but my, my cough only comes around when I start laughing. Yeah, why do I need to go to a doctor when I can get all my medical advice from the Joe Rogan podcast? Thank you, Mika. <coughs> I've got tons of ivermectin. I'll be fine. Oh. Here. No, oh, this will be perfect. No, instead, here, here you guys go. All right. Sarah Jessica Parker stream. You know, whenever I think of a horse now, it just makes me think of when Amaranth was trying to deep throw the microphone with the horse mask. Oh. Means laser will have to kill me. Have a candy on hand. If you start coughing, use it. Will it work? I don't have any cough drops near me. <clears throat> God damn it. The deep throating horse stream of Harry's. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I thought Harry's is some kind of uh, Greek god. So I thought you were being serious. Hades? You guys are just making shit up. <coughs> That'll clear my ass right up. A hundred proof.
Okay, I see. <clears throat> Hades nuts, got him. Butt chug, you want me to boof it? You want me to boof it? But that's not gonna help with my cough. I don't think boofing is gonna help with anything. All it's gonna do is get me shit faced drunk and make me shit my pants. You don't know until you try? How do you know I've never tried? <clears throat> H You said you were congested. Yeah, my ass isn't congested. Uh, okay. It's all one pipe. Look it, if your ass and your mouth are the same pipe, then both of your hands are only one hand. Change my mind. Both of your feet are just the same. Same foot. I can't understand what you said, so I don't know how. The human body is just a long tube. I would say technically we're just a tunnel, right? No, we're not a hole because we're not hollow. We're a tube or a, a tunnel. I'm hollow. Oh, piss off. These are the types of conversations I stay out of, lest my license gets taken away. The day it ever happens, Dr. Cox, you'd be sure to tell me. We do develop from a tube that opens up on the inside. Why do we need to categorize everything? My name will just be Mr. Cox and you'll know. You'll know. That would be a really good April Fool's joke. That would be a really, really sick April Fool's joke, Dr. Cox. We don't see enough big ass sprites in levels like this one. Agreed. It's just like the queen from, uh, what's her fucking name? Alice in Wonderland. Ah! 
Every else I've ever known is a slut. Alice Cooper? Yo, thanks for the follow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not just tetrapods, but all chordate, chordates, starfish, and acorn worms included. Nightbird, we've got one rule here, dude. Don't be too stupid, and definitely don't be too smart. Oftentimes, those overlap. That's two rules? No, it's one, it's two, it, it's one rule. Wait, Vibe Lady, you're breaking the rules. Pay with your blood. Had to have seen that one coming. <laughs> Had to have seen that one coming. It's one rule in the shape of a horseshoe. We're already timing them out. I'll be smart. God fucking damn it. You guys, I just got told. I just said, God fucking damn it. And it made me think of something my grandpa used to say. Anyone who speak Italian in chat? Porco Dio. Some of you only need to worry about the stupid half of the rule. Don't worry about the other half. Arrivederci. My grandpa used to say, La Yama da Tand! I don't know what it means, but I know my grandpa was Italian. Ah, oh, yes. Say it again. La Yama da Tand. I don't even know if it's Italian. Monge le petit infant. La llama got tongue. La llama da tongue. I'm not fluent, but I think it means sub with your prime. Oh, la llama da tongue. Old people say bad thing. Oh, like something that could get me suspended. I mean, I feel like it's in good faith. I'm trying to decipher something my grandfather said. Oh, 
My granddad was a seer. Uh, Izeron. Thank you for the 18 months, Izeron. My granddad was racist. Dude, my dad was racist. I can't even say some of the shit my dad used to say. I mean, I haven't talked to him. Maybe he is. I don't know. No. No, is there a secret? I'll never know. Dirty dialects. The blade gives blood. So you're telling me that I had an edgelord grandfather who was Italian? He was an edgy Italian. Better yet, he was an emo Italian. You're telling me that my fucking grandfather was emo. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mike? Fucking fuck, fuck. Na, 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 na. Oh, I can do that. That that that's much easier. Berserker 1986. <coughs> Is that any correlation to the anime? Same old shit. How you doing? I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm surprised no streamer has had the 200 IQ to after 12 months of subbing, they gift one month to the viewer as a reward. That's a stupid fucking thing, Sky Shadow. Why would I pay you? You pay me. Don't you understand how this works? Stupid fucking idea. I bet you Sky Shadow right now is wearing a turtleneck. He's at 11 months. Oh, so he's trying to scam me. Weirdest, but the best burn. <laughs> that was a ninja tip. Was it really? Thank you. Just imagining an old guy asking for a razor to slash his kid made me laugh my ass off. <coughs> God damn it. It helps when you're already a multi-millionaire. God damn it. I can't get away for shit today. God fucking damn it. <coughs> the blade gives blood. <laughs> I don't want to believe that's what my grandpa said every time he said that. <coughs> Fuck! 
I remember one time, um, me and the kids in the neighborhood, we were playing uh, with the watering hose. Like we were playing outside, you know, like that old pastime. And uh, we got the watering hose really fucking tangled. I just remember my grandpa coming over around the corner, like with the, like his bent over back and shit. And my grandpa, he always wore a beanie. He always wore a beanie. It could be 120 degrees outside. And he'd be, wow. That's probably why he died of a heat stroke. <laughs> my God. died of a heat stroke. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's probably the worst idea. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that was really funny. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he would have found that funny. Oh. Oh. No, he's not allowed to be racist because he's Italian. Only white people can be racist. Anyways, um... Nah, he, uh... We got the, the hose really fucking tangled, right? We got the hose super fucking tangled. And uh, he came up and he was like, Ah, la Yamaratan! So now, just thinking back of him being like, the, ra the blade gives blood. Every time he said that. <coughs> oh, oh my god, that's so funny. healing oh my god that was so funny <laughs> oh my god yeah, my, my grandfather died because he had a heat stroke and no one was around to, like, you know, made sure he was getting air or anything. Uh. I just remember he was always wearing that fucking beanie. Always wearing that fucking beanie. Oh, it's not sad. You know, if I had to deal with my grandmother too, I probably would have also worn a beanie to die of a heat stroke. <sighs> Why didn't I learn Italian? Uh, well, you see, I'm not Italian. Oh, this is back to the very beginning. Bridge. Italian is the closest thing we have to modern Latin. Have you activated both Switch Palaces? Ooh.
Yeah, it was my grandfather on my dad's side. Yeah. Italians piss me off when the ma with the mafia. They claim they were the original gang when it was actually the Irish. Actually, the original gang was the Chinese because of Genghis Khan. Motherfucker was a gangster. Mongolia, sorry, thank you. Yeah. I don't know my fucking history, dude, okay? <coughs> Tofu's social credit just went up. My fr Italian friend taught me the phrase. Lavati in benzina. I asiguati con ascendio, which means wash yourself with gasoline and dry yourself with a lighter. Right, I need to commit this to memory. Hold on. Lavati in benzina. I asiguati con ascendio. Ascendio. Yeah, that's metal as fuck. I did a tour with dudes from Italy and all they taught me was to scream obscenities. Bonded over your love for Eiffel 65. Oh. Is this Bomberman? Ah. Oh. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. Yo, Karna! Holy shit, has it been three years? It's been three fucking years, dude. God damn. Thank you, Karna. If I was bla a blade, I'd give blood. I'm blue, I would beat off a guy. I would beat off a guy. I would beat off a guy. That sounds pretty good. I think that's how I do it. Bado bao body. No, they're not trying to summon Majin Buu, motherfucker. They actually say words. Super Krungo world. No, Chamba world. Super Krungo World is next? Well, what about Krungers? Don't forget about Krungers.
Don't troll me, don't troll me. Oh my god. Aha! I have no fucking clue who that is. I forgot what I said the other day, but chat blew up with Krungers. Burping. Your sugar intake determines how sweet my comments are. Pancreas determines how much uh, sugar I intake. What is your pancreas responsible for again? Part of your endocrine system, right? Driving, drinking EV, olive oil, straight up tastes good. Yes or no? I'm gonna just say no. I can't even spell pancreas. Insulin? Pocahontas. Using it as a lubrication for cooking and using it as a lubrication when you don't have KY jelly and want to go down dirty naturally. I feel like Bev would slap you. Yeah. 
Holy shit. We get to hear Darude Sandstorm. What do you guys think? Time for Elden Ring? Time for some Elden Ring? <laughs> 